And what is going on everybody? I'm Sigily Dusty here and today we are playing some more CSR classics. Uh I bought the Ford Escort. As you see at the top right, I don't have as much gold as I had before. And apparently I wasn't supposed to buy it with gold. Alright, so here's what here's what happened. I saw it, I was playing the game, I was just, you know, grinding, trying to get as much money as I can. Right? And it was one of those things where it's like, oh, I got you this discount for this car. I didn't remember if this car you could, if you could buy this car with money or not. And according to the Wikipedia page I have up right now for this game, I could have bought this with money. And I bought it with gold. So, anyways, I thought I'd make a video on it. I just learned about the cash thing now. I bought this thing a couple hours ago. But anyways, uh, in the game, it says on the back it's a 1972, as you see right there. If I can zoom in. No, I can't zoom in. But on the back, it says 1972. On the wiki page, it says 1970. But anyways, it is a Ford Escort RS 1600 Cosworth. As I'm reading it right here. Oh, I could have just read it at the top. It has a 1.6 liter Cosworth BDA in line 4. Uh, 113 brake horsepower at 6,500 RPM. Uh, 105 foot-pounds of torque. And it's got a 4-speed manual. It is a front-engine rear-wheel drive car. I've already spent... Two minutes, just talking. So let's just get right into the racing, after I show you all this. Or actually, no, I gotta do upgrades real quick. You know what, let me skip over this real quick. Just so you don't have to suffer through it. Alright, so I bought all stage 3 parts. Let's just go through all stage 4, just so I have enough time to have them imported while I'm doing the video. Actually, yeah, that's 5 minutes. I'm going to have to pause the video later anyways, you know, for uh, for the time and stuff. So, while it's doing that, I'll just pause. That was a, that was a loud popping noise coming out, coming from outside. That was pretty loud. I don't know if you can hear it, but it sounded loud enough for you to hear it. So, I thought I'd mention it. If not, then I look like a total dumb dumb doo doo head. Well, that's alright. That's all right. Sometimes we all look like dumb, dumb doo-doo heads. It's just how it's just how being human is. No human is no human is perfect. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Actually, you know what? You might be perfect. Who knows? Actually, you're perfect the way you are, but you're not gonna be perfect. You know what I mean? Like you shouldn't change yourself for any reason because you're perfect the way you are. But you're not going to do everything exactly perfect. Like, you're not going to be able to play... I don't know. I don't know. Frank Sinatra's Fly Me to the Moon first time on the piano. You're not going to be able to play that the first time. You're, you're not going to get it perfect the first time. Or the first ten times. Who knows? You're perfect the way you are, but you're not perfect. Uh, I just double check the duties. Whatever, I'll still win. Unless he pulls some 007 BS on me. Sorry, give me one second. Yep, that, that's just fireworks. Alright, yeah, looking at Google Images, it could be a 1972. It's probably a 1972. By the way, the by the the little writing is on the back. I believe it's a 1972. Wasn't this the generation that Paul Walker drove in Fast and Furious Six? Give me one second. Oh yeah, it was Fast and Furious Six, and it was a 1970. Alright, 
So up against a GMC truck. At least I think that's what it is. But just looking at the side profile. Yeah, it's a blue chip. Huh, ah, which is funny because my car is blue. Which actually I might paint it in a moment. Doing nothing but vrooming and zooming. Disappearing like a magic trick. Even though he was right on my A double S. Uh, yeah, um, I promised someone that I would do tier 2 car, racing against tier 3 cars, so if you're watching this right now, I'm gonna do that after I fully modify this car. So, actually, now I think about it, I'm gonna do the pausing right here, I'm gonna take you to stage, actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you to stage 4 afterwards, and then stage 5, and then, you know, take everyone else. To gapple these. Give me one second. Alright, so let's fit these stage four parts. So fit. That looking beautiful. Wheels are cleaned. The gearbox is smooth. The engine is roaring. The carburetor spit the fuel. The exhaust sounds good. And the nitrous is spitting. So let's buy a better looking body. You know, polishing it and stuff like that. Cleaning the wheels a little bit more, making the tires better. Making the gearbox a little bit smoother. Making the engine more powerful, because more power, baby. That sounds stupid if you don't watch Donut Media. By the way, go watch Donut Media. Not sponsored or anything, because I only got like 166 subscribers last time I checked. Which was like 20 minutes ago. But... 166 subscribers. They're, they're not sponsoring me to say that. Not even close. So. I recommend you go check them out. They post some really good videos. They teach you a lot. You know, whether it be like... Uh, Science Garage. I don't remember which one it was. But there was one where they like explained stuff. And then you got up to speed. You got bumper to bumper. You got... You'll find something that you love. Can I do tier 3 cars yet? Not quite. I'm not going to risk it. Unless that's how it is when it's fully built. But I highly doubt it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do these for a little bit. And then we're going to do tier 3 cars at the end. I'm going to do like 3 of these races. And then I'm going to just pause it. Maybe 2 races. Who knows. One point six liter in line for kicking some serious A double S since before the B sixteen was kicking some A double S. The reason I don't curse is cause I'm trying to get somewhere with YouTube and YouTube is very strict on uh profane language as they would put it. So I'm trying to get somewhere on YouTube and I don't need YouTube to like pushing me back from that. Which actually, I might have to change this from gaming to automotive. Just because, like, they have a whole section where it's like anti gaming and stuff like that. It's weird, it's explained by. I think Game Theorist. I don't know, they have this like weird thing against gaming and stuff like that. Which is weird because that's kind of what built YouTube into what it is today. I don't know, I'm just gonna probably have to change it to automotive in the description. Which might actually, it may ruin my views, my the little views I get right now. Or it may boost them. Because it is an automotive based one. So a lot, a lot of car people will be coming to this video. Since a lot of gaming is usually like based around like Fortnite and GTA. But at the same time, the automotive section is usually looking for like IRL automotive. You know what I mean? So, I don't know how that's going to play out. It may be the best decision I make in a while, or it may be not the worst, but like, sub-satisfactory maybe? I don't know. 
I'm gonna pause the video, wait for those parts to deliver, and I'll be right back. All right, stage five parts. Fit, looking absolutely gorgeous, looking better than a brand new car. The wheels, grippier than ever. Does that say Goodyear? Huh, I didn't know they got some kind of sponsor. Smoothing, smoother shift than a CVT. 162 horsepower. Out of a car that weighs 1,800 pounds. 1,880, but... Ooh, actually, 167. 169. Spray, and that's it. Fully upgraded. That paint looks like chrome, that paint looks like ASS, and that paint looks like rust. So, let's just stick with the blue, why not? Even though that's going to be a pain in the AWS to make a thumbnail for. I'll figure it out. If I have to, like, put a matte finish on it, I will. So anyways, Tier 3 cars. This is the only one I'm going to be able to do since that's extreme. So, let's go do this one. Tier 3 cars. Alright, so let's see what I'm racing. A Ford F100. Alright. Oops, I double shifted by accident. I'm still used to my uh, Firebird. This thing actually shifts pretty smooth for being fully restored. Some of these cars don't shift really good. They, like, like in Pixel Car Racer, you, like, you have to double shift them. People tell me in the comment section of my Pixel Car Racer build, or Pixel Car Racer videos in general, they're like, oh, why don't you tune the gears? Well, that's because I suck at that, and that takes me quite a bit of time, and I try to keep my videos under an hour, and it's going to take me at least an hour to tune, so, and if I keep the recording paused that long, it just automatically shuts off after like 15 minutes. And it's not like that's going to be fixed because DU Recorder is not even on the Play Store anymore. So, that sucks. Ooh, 114. Hi. Ah, that is that is pretty late. Luckily, I don't have school tomorrow. So, do do do. I go from regular summer school to doing summer classes at UTI Technical Institute. So. What does UTI stand for, other than urinary tract infection? Eh, you can Google it. It's U-T-I, as in, like, umbrella, tornado, and I am secretly a tester. There we go. U-T-I. Who racing the coronet? Well, I guess that one I had to double shift just a tiny bit, I guess. But it's not nearly as bad as the Firebird is. I'll do one more race. Maybe two if I have time. I highly doubt it though. And then I'll just end the video. You know what? For the last two, let's make a green. This this picture of a green one actually looks really not. Oh, ew, gross. Not that color green. I was looking at like a dark maverick green. Let's go yellow. That actually looks really nice in yellow. Spray job. I'm getting all these achievements that I've already unlocked. Probably because I'm on um, airplane mode and it's not reading any any of my previous achievements. Oh gosh, I closed my eyes to say that sentence and my brain just wanted to go to sleep. You know that feeling where like you're about to fall asleep, like like when you're in class and you're about to fall asleep, like you're struggling not to fall asleep. That's what I just had. I closed my eyes just to say that sentence. And I just wanted to go to sleep. I'm sorry. I've had a long week. I've had a long day, so. I hope I hope that doesn't show in the video, because honestly, um, that would suck. Because you guys gotta watch it. Uh No, nah, I'm not gonna try it. Eh, I might use the last one just in nah. Nah, cause that's going to take too much time. 
my outro alone takes around like one or two minutes. Plus, it's a million degrees in here, and I'm exhausted. So, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying why I'm not gonna make a, you know, 20 minute video. Especially since it's on a Ford Escort. It's not like a, a special video or anything. I know the Ford Escort is a pretty special car, but it's not like a, it's not like one of, one of those videos I've been planning on doing. I literally bought this car like, I don't know, like three hours ago? <sighs> Anyways. Five minutes? You know what? Yeah, let's do one more. Let's do one more race. Why not? Why not? Just to... I, I have my I have my Diet Shasta. I have my Diet Shasta Cola right here. Which, by the way, Shasta, please sponsor me because I love your products. I currently have three two liters over there. You know, just to last me the next two weeks. Just because I went shopping. But yeah, please sponsor me. Please. Plus, by the way, uh, why does it cost so much to have something shipped to you? Like, to have something, to have the, to have you guys' bag shipped from wherever you have it to out here in California, especially right here by LA, you know, it costs double what the bag actually costs. It costs like, I think the bag costs like $16 and the shipping costs like 25 So, miss me with that. I was gonna buy the bag, but then I was like, nah. And that's the that's the cheapest shipping. I think the most expensive one was like eighty dollars, and that was like overnight. And I was like, nah, <laughs> no, miss me with that, nah. Not paying that for a bag, especially a beach bag. I get it's Shasta and all, but for a hundred dollars, that's counting shipping and the price. Nah, I could just buy a hundred, uh, actually, with tax, that'd be around, oh, uh, like, 90 bottles, 90 bottles of soda, and that'll last me all year. Alright, I gotta end the video, I gotta end the video. If you like the video, like, if you dislike the video, leave a dislike, tell me down in the comment section why you like to dislike the video, talk to me down in the comment section, love giving thumbs up, hearts, and positive and supportive reply, positive replies to positive and supportive comments. But I'll never react negatively to a negative comment because that's quite mean. I'm all about spreading positivity. Oh, my new cat is knocking something over. Give me a second. Sorry about that. I got a new Siamese cat after my cat, unfortunately, passed away. So she's just a little kitten. She's causing a, she's causing a ruckus. A mess. A noise. A loud noise. But anyways, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I post videos. I post videos every other day, but not at the time, so that's what you're going to need the bell icon for. Social media is down in the description. Instagram number one is for myself and for the channel, so if you want to keep up to date with me or the channel, go follow that. Instagram number two is automotive, so cars, trucks, motorcycles, even car, truck, motorcycles with video games or Hot Wheels or illustrations or animations. It's all there. You'll find something there you like. Hopefully you like a lot of it and hit that follow button because it really does help. Yeah, that's Instagram too. Instagram number one is myself, so Instagram number two is that. Uh, Twitter's down there. I use it a lot, actually, now that I've started using it. I actually use it quite a bit. So, go follow that, and I hope you liked the video, and thanks for watching.